Hey, this is Lucas, and uh, looking at a Shadowline TCM 200. This is a uh, motorized drive system for uh, force gauge, strain gauge, and uh, it's also got a sample holding system uh, composed of these two uh, uh, two elements here. Uh, they're designed to hold a. It looks like a piece of fabric. In this case, we've got a sample of uh, silicone rubber in here. So uh, this is under a little bit of tension right now just to keep these closed, but uh, we'll, we'll fire it up here. Uh, it's got a, a, a speed control that uh, can be used to uh, I'll change the uh, speed at which the testing takes place. And that goes down to one inch a minute and up to 12. Uh, it's got several cycles here on the, uh, on the dial. And uh, we will do a uh, start upper limit. I, I don't think it'll reach the upper limit. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. So uh, that's at 6 uh, inches a minute, and uh, we can take it up to uh, 12, and we can see that the speed control functions perfectly. Uh, we can stop it at any time, restart it, we can change the direction. So it's uh, very well set up, it works. And uh, let's take a look here at the digital force gauge. The DFIS 100 is the model number. We can see that this is climbing as the uh, sample is stretching. And uh, this has a 12-pin uh, connector right here that uh, allows computer interface. It's battery operated. It's got a uh, battery internally. It uh, uh, seems to be okay. Uh, the, uh, uh, we, we, can, we can shut this off and then uh, display peak. In this case, it's uh, 5 pounds of force. Peak force, we can change our units to kgs. Uh, I think there was one other one, uh, newtons, and then pounds. And it'll also give us a uh, transmit and uh, zero. We can zero it out also. So uh, it's uh, working. Everything seems to be working. It's going to come with the, uh, the case. This is the case for the uh, DF DFIS 100. And it's got several uh, of these uh, uh, ends that are used in the uh, on the force gauge itself uh, that would replace these uh, these two uh, we can put ends like this on the uh, upper and lower part of the uh, uh, system here for uh, for pulling the sample and there is an extension battery charger for the for the DFIS 100 it's got uh, a hook it's got uh, now it's a little uh, a little uh, mushroom shaped or uh, washer shaped component it's got uh, the two components of the the uh, wedge type, which are here, and it looks like these two parts, uh, one engages in the other. There's probably some ASTM standard that that refers to, um, and I think there's one or two more of these. There's a point, so it's got uh, quite a few of these little uh, attachments. There's also an extension bar here, which uh, may come in handy. Uh, I should point out too that the uh, uh, the system has a uh, uh, two uh, limits on, on the back. They're mechanical uh, limits for the switches. I won't show them. They're just on the back of the uh, on the back of the column here, and uh, you can uh, just slide them up and down uh, on the uh, on the column. So that's the Shadowline TCM 200 with the uh, DFIS 100 strain gauge. This is Lucas signing off.